Welcome back to Disabled and Prepping, and today in our toss it, Tuesday Toss It, we are, well, I am, um, va I vacuum sealed a bunch of items that I needed to um, get out of that area that I was working on, so we're not going to be tossing anything um, except for the empty boxes, and we're going to put this into long, t well, midterm for most for some of it um this is 12 packs of um brown rice i do know that they don't last as long as white rice that's why these are going into midterm um storage right now just because i needed to get them out of the boxes and um i'd rather have them vacuum sealed for later use for a little bit later use than to have it um sitting in boxes so that's 12 of them and um, then I have this uh, kasha it's 100% buckwheat I still have to label this that's why it's here plus it's got the directions but I vacuum sealed it in um, according to the directions it said to use um, one cup so these are all just one cups uh, so I have three of those. I will be labeling everything and things like that. I just don't have a Sharpie right now. Um, and then I did some teriyaki quinoa. And um, I did a South, uh, yeah, Southwest style chicken and rice kit. I got the directions in there plus, whoops. I don't even know if you saw that. Uh, Southwest style chicken and rice kit. Um, so let me flip it over. So it's got some dried items, some rice, and a sauce. And of course, those that cardboard there is the directions here. Um, and then I also put away some Hungry Jack cheesy scallop potatoes. I didn't let it vacuum seal too much because I didn't want it to puncture the bag so there's still a little bit of air in there but I, I didn't want to take the chance of it crushing the potatoes and then puncturing the bag so I got the directions with that and then I did some brown rice medley roasted garlic and herb this will go in with the other rice um, so I just, like I said, I needed to get the boxes done. This takes up less room than the boxes. And it's got the directions and, and the rice and the packet. So then I also got a three cheese um, potato thing. So this was just like the scallop potatoes, but I think it's an old gratin or something like that. Um, it's got the directions, both different, both kinds of directions, the stovetop, oven, and microwave. Um, the, all the stuff that was in it and the sauce pocket. Um, again, I didn't let it completely vacuum. I got it fairly tight, but, um, didn't want the potatoes to puncture the bag. So then I vacuum sealed some of the items that I, two of the, two of these, which are, um, similar. They're just wipes. Uh, so there's similar to baby wipes or adult wipes, you know, all kinds of whatever. Um, it just says adult wipes on it. Anyways, I got them from my, um, insurance company for the OTC items and I vacuum packed both of them. So that way at least, um, air isn't getting to it and hopefully it won't dry out, um, for my preps. So there's those two. And then because I um, ended up having some meds because I changed pharmacies for a bit and all this and that. There's like a whole situation with my medications and things. So I ended up getting extras. So I vacuum sealed those as well. Not going to turn them over because my information is in there. But um, yeah, so I did that. Those will go into my um, medication and first aid stuff but it goes into a separate ziploc bag with my medications so if there's ever a time that i need some and like my delivery isn't here on time or whatever i have a few i have some for backup 
So that's what I did today as part of my to uh, Tuesday toss it. Um, Got to put this stuff away and the vacuum sealer in the bags because I needed the bags to do these because it wouldn't fit into my other pre-made bags already. So, and unfortunately there's a lot left over on each side so I have to fold that over. But they're put away so that's good. And I always keep the little extras um, that's from the rice and stuff or putting it or maybe from the buckwheat but um yeah it's from the buckwheat so I'll rinse these parts out and these are these little pieces are what I put my um, medication in when I have them so I always save my my little pieces if if it's big enough to possibly put some medications in or you know little items but that's what I did today. So, um, all right, everybody. May God bless each and every one of you to overflowing. And may he keep you, your family, and friends safe. Bye for now.